Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today is going to be a quick video about the Magic Studio in Canva. As you can see, I'm on Canva. And so if you're interested in looking at the AI tools on Canva, then please keep on watching. Okay, so today I'm going to be having a look at Magic Studio. So it's normally on the left side of the panel. Just click that. And when you click that, you can see Meet Magic Studio, and there's a lot of different AI tools on this blending page. So we've got Magic Design, where you can actually use AI to design different social media posts or design different um, artifacts. So you've got Magic Design for presentations. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. Magic Design for video, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. And then Magic Animate, Resize, Magic Switch, Magic Morph, etc. So there's quite a lot of resources here. So I'm going to have a look at Magic Design for Video. And that's because many people of my in my workshops have been asking me, how do I create these videos of using all the photographs from the actual workshop and create a video with music and captions? And I say, I use Magic Design for video on Canva, which literally probably takes me no more than one minute. So let's press into here and see what there is. So you can see that once I press it, it says try Magic Design. So I'm just going to press try Magic Design. OK, so you can see that I've got my photos up. I've got permission from the participants to use these photos, but I just want to create a quick video to show you how this works. So I'm just going to click on some of the videos that I've already uploaded here. Uh, I've got five photos. Let's do this one too. Uh, let's just do seven uh, photos, so eight photos for now. And then I'm going to say two day workshop on concept based mathematics. Okay and then generate. And you always get this wonderful, inspiring quote that comes up as the video has been, is being generated here. Okay, and here we go. So I'm gonna move myself over and let's just start pressing play. So of course, we can always change the captions by double clicking. Um, these captions were auto generated by looking at the actual photo. So we know these are not students. These are lovely teachers who are really engaged and excited. The music was generated too. Let's keep going. We're excited to put our new skills to work in classroom. And then thank you to everyone that came. So I just put just a few photos. The limit is about 10, but you can of course edit, change the music and, and do whatever modifications you want. So I think that this is a great tool for teachers to use with their students. So obviously making sure that their data and personal identity is protected, but really showcasing the learning that is going on in the classroom, maybe at the end of every day, because it takes less than a minute. So maybe teachers would be taking photos of the learning that's going on and then creating a video with 10 photos to share with students so that it can help consolidate and help them actually remember some of the learning and the excitement that was going on. So once again, Canva, thank you so much for this wonderful tool. You've really added to my workflow, efficiency and life. And I love how you promise that Canva Pro will be free for educators forever. And that's why I'm so happy to really support and endorse and share the wonderful different functionalities of Canva. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.